All right, we're gonna try to uh, understand what feeling are. Um, I mean, one some aspect of it because it's really infinite. There's so much to we could speak a few years about feeling and all their secrets. Um, but I just first want to show three books that are really good in case um, you want to go deeper. Is this one? It's a big book. It goes really in depth in many things. Feeling the 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 inside story by Rabbi Emanuel. It's really really good. Then there's this one by Rabbi Dover Pinson. Um, feeling wrapped in majesty, which is goes very deep into um, deeper than the other into Kabbalah and Hasidus. And there's that little one feeling from Breslov. And there are many others, but those are the three that uh, I have that are really good. Okay, so let's try to understand um, the basic meaning of tefillin, um, how it works, like what can we get from it on a daily basis, because we can learn for years about it. Um, but in terms of practical life, how does it work? So... Um, and that's something that we have to do before every mitzvah. Uh, there's no point of um, doing a mitzvah if we don't try to understand and it changes. The goal of the mitzvah is to transform us into someone better. Okay. So, um, okay. So let's start. So first of all, the basics. Uh, we put on fill in in a very strange way. We start here and then we go, uh, I do three times here, some do just one time and then you go seven times here, the seven full circle and then uh, we go on the hand and we have three rings around that finger, the middle finger of the left and then we have a shin here and then different ways to look at the dalet some say there's a Dalet here as a symbol and a Yud in the back here. Um, so there's different ways to, to look at it, but we're going to discuss the different thing after. Right now it's important that it says that we start here and then we go till here, then we stop. We don't continue and do all this thing at the end by the hand. And then we go to the head, we put on the head fill in. And um, and then after, when I put it down, I go back to my hand and I finish my hand. Which is very strange, doesn't make sense. It would make sense, first of all, to put the head feeling, which is higher level, uh, corresponding to the head, the nishama, the highest place on the human body. So it should be first with the head, not starting with the hand. Um, and... Um, so that's the, 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 the first question. So we're, we're going to answer that question first. We're going to step by step. So the reason for me is one of my... That's the main thing I get from Tefillin. Let's remember that Tefillin was supposed to be worn every day of your life. Um, it's, it's, it's not just every day. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean every day. I mean every second of your life. Um, Every day there's holidays we don't need feeling because we're connected to the power of feeling already during those holidays. Meaning that in, during holidays on Shabbat, for example, we receive an energy that replaces that feeling. It's like you're... So we're going to explain what it is. <laughs> so it sounds like that. Um, why is it every second? That means that every second of my life I've been, I have to be connected to a way of thinking and behaving... I have to be aware of something so that every one of my actions I done towards God. I done in the proper way. I done to rectify the world. I done to do something good. So the feeling is a constant reminder of that. Um, in, in many ways, we know there are um, six mitzvot that are constant. Six constant mitzvot. Um, the Rambam has another one called uh, Vedavka, Vedavka Vav. You should um, attach yourself to Hashem. Um, that's one of the six for him. But the six main are to know there is a God, to know there is no other power than God, 
to know that God is one, to love Him, to be in awe of Him, and not to go after your heart and eyes desires. Interesting, when we say Shema, which is connected to Tefillin, that we need to have in, we have those six mitzvot included, uh, reminded in the in those, um, uh, in this part of the of the Torah of the Shema, which is connected to Tefillin, obviously. So, so what's happening? I put on my Tefillin here, and I'm saying, okay. Any action I'm going to do, I have to ask, is it good or is it bad? But it doesn't start like that. I see something, I want to do something, and right away I have a desire. So really, most desire come from, from the heart, meaning the, the mind has a thought, but right away the, it's, the thought is usually connected to the desire. That's why I said, You don't go after your, um, your heart desires and your eyes. Because everything starts here. The, so you have something in here that pushes you to do things. You want to feel a certain way. Then the mind started thinking, okay, how do I f get to feel like that? So, I have a desire. But how do I know? Because since my desire comes from my body, what the body wants, doesn't always come from something, from the, what the Nishama wants. I need, which is something good, um, I need to clarify what my desire, what my, 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 uh, yeah, if my desire it comes from the soul or comes from the body. Does my desire come from the soul or the body? That's the question number one. For that, I have to go here. And that's why this goes against the heart. Because we know there's a yetzatom and yetzara. There's a good desire and a negative desire because we're in the physical world. So, it is a mix, it's a mixture of good and evil in there. Um, so what do I do? I have to control it. So what do I do? I make a blessing and then, and then and then I block it. I block my flow of blood. I blood I um, I block my desires, my um, yeah, my feelings that I have to do something now. So and then one, this is blocked. It's like I'm controlling now the animal in me. I'm controlling the desire, the spontaneous uh, reaction, the instinct. And I block it. And then I go to my head. What's happening with my head? My head is going to start thinking what it is that I w desire. Is, comes that from a good place or, or not? And I have to start to analyze with the head whether or not it's a good thing to do or not. Is it going to bring me closer to God or not? Once I've used this uh, an, an, uh, analytic um, process, then I finish with the hand. And I can do the action or not do the action. Right? To do or not to do. So that's, that, that's the three process. One, two, three three steps to 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 go into the actual action so now we're going to explain what's the connection between those three steps and what's in the feeling so basically what we have is that in the we know there are four portions of um, Torah written in the feeling they are all four here and they're all four here however here there was one and here there's four so that's why this box if you see it's all one, there's no um, separation. So we have only one parchment, just like that. One parchment in the middle of it. And um, all four par uh, portions are written in there. In here, as you know, this it's split into four. And um, it corresponds to the four parts of Tfilin. Uh, here it's eight, because uh, they put it double. But basically you have this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, the two are the, in Shemot that speak about um, Pesach going out of Egypt, and then the Shema, and then the second part of the Shema, Vayim Shamoa. So we have those four sections, and basically it's telling you your feelings. Yeah, we want to do good, but we're not always sure. So the feeling that you have is it really connected? It's all here, one. It's all raw here. It's like one feeling. So we try to dissect the 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 portions into here and understand that here although I have to be connected to my heart as one right with what I do 
I have to dissect the things to understand really clearly if I'm going in the right direction. Um, once I know, analyze, I'm going in the right direction, I can do the action. So, uh, what it is, so the question is, what is the process? The process of, oh, um, well, we'll continue with that. What is the process of the fourth section? I have, it's bring me to think about what it is, what's the way of thinking that is going to help me succeed in deciding whether I'm doing, what I'm doing is, is right or wrong. So the first portion that we have, the first section, uh, speaks about uh, when we, Hashem took us out of Egypt, it speaks about the Passover Seder. It's connect us back to the purpose of why we're created. It says, Kadesh li chod becho, I sanctified all the firstborn uh, from the Jewish people uh, and I took you out of Egypt and um, and I want you to remember that that's what I did. So it reminds us of our purpose on, in life. God took us out. He, he saved us from the from the Egyptians, from the physical world, from the constriction of this world and he, and he take us and he gives us a purpose and I have to be constantly reminded that I'm here to stay out of Egypt because we can be now today still in Egypt. Yes, let's remember, Egypt means to be um, conditioned by society to think and live a certain way. So, each time I put on feelings, reminds me, oh, today I have to be out of Egypt. Today I can be trapped by society. I can be trapped by what's... by by the influences and the way the world wants me to be. I have to do what God wants. So with my the first step, I'm thinking, okay, I want to do this action. Let me remind her. Okay, remind me. I am here for a purpose, and the purpose is that I was chosen by God to fulfill a special mission here, and that is to go out of Egypt myself and help others go out of Egypt too, the whole world, not just the Jews. Now, that's the first step. The second step is um, that I am. I put you into. I I, I, um, I brought you into the land of uh, Israel, and there um, you have also um, a specific purpose that you have to take care of the land. It speaks again about Peter Echem to redeem the firstborn, but the idea is that um, we are connecting again to going out of Egypt. Um, but more than that, that God, the way God took you is with a strong hand, meaning God is involved in your life and He's directing you. And if you want to do the right thing, you have to stay attached to Him. Um, and um, and it's to the is defining the goal. I'm here really to represent Israel, to go out, to 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 be in the land, to be stationed in the land, and to be a testimony that God took me took us out. That we have a special relationship with Him, and that um, that is involved in my everyday life, and that everything I do um, matters. And therefore, I have to be careful that what I do connects to my mission in this world. Um, number three is Shema, which is love. Love with God with your heart, your soul, and um, body. So what's, what does that mean? Is that I have to understand that what I have to do is has to be done out of love. I have to be done out of love. I have to love Hashem. I have my emotion to mean it. And everything I do is has to be directed towards that. That's the third portion. And the fourth section is be careful. Everything you do has consequences. Remember, a good action is going to bring goodness. A negative action is going to destroy the world. Uh, that's Vayam Shamwa. And that whatever good or bad you're having is a consequence of your action most of the time. So those are the four things. So I see a desire. I have a desire to do something. Is it good or bad? I analyze what I'm here for is this uh, is this gonna bring me closer to God? Is is this gonna keep me out of Egypt? Um, and do I do it out of love? And is it gonna help me be more in love with God? And is this action gonna bring good or bad? 
So that, 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 that's, that's a very simplistic way. Again, there are tons of explanation. That's the way I use it. Um, I put on metphilin and I'm saying, okay, here there are seven forces, okay? The reason why there are seven here and seven here, we're downloading from the seven spiral. That's something a little bit more Kabbalistic. This is the three powers of the head, which actually correspond to the shin. And we know here there's a shin top letter. So um, this is the power of the head. And then we go to the seven powers of the body. What's happening is our body, we want to help our body, our desires, our uh, seven main desires, emotional and physical um, yeah, desires, uh, go out of Egypt and connect to the head um, and uh, elevate them, use them for a higher purpose. So here I'm saying I'm controlling the seven powers that exist in my body and we do it on the left arm because the left corresponds to the negative side. And we tie it here, that's why it's on the left arm, right? And we tie it here and say, I'm controlling those seven, uh, we'll call it seven demons. The seven, they, they're not evil in per se, but they could be used for evil. So I'm controlling those seven forces and I'm going to use it to connect to the seven holier forces, or the, uh, which, which are, was well, we have a sheen of three here. And then a sheen of four on the other side. So that's total of seven. It correspond to the seven branches of the menorah because we're supposed to be a light of the nation or use all our lights. Many reasons. And basically I am therefore saying that now my whole body, my whole system, emotional and, f and uh, physical system is directed towards the goal. And once I'm clear about that goal, then I can put it on my hand and I'm making the rings, three rings. There's something you say, three of the verses you say for the three rings. It's a triple ring. It's um, a ring is saying I'm getting married to God. Um, the goal is to be more and more one with God. Okay. Now another um, explanation corresponding to uh, what I just said is the name Shaddai. Shaddai is one of the name of God. So we have a Shin. We have the Daled here in the back, sometimes it's a double Daled, and then we have the Yud attached here. So that, that's the name Shaddai, which comes from the root Shomer Dai, that Hashem said when He was created the world, Dai, that it should be enough, meaning it's, it, it, the, 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 the Zohar and many other places explain that it's the name that sets boundaries. And basically we are saying that I am saying die enough to the desire of the body and the the the, the heart, and I'm, desi I'm directing it with, to to the right direction, and finally do the action the right way. So I'm not letting myself being influenced by all influence and feelings and instincts and stuff like that. So that's another another secret. Um, again, everything I'm saying, you can read it for a few hours <laughs> because there's so many explanation and depth to it. I'm just giving the surface. And then um, another idea that I would like to conclude is the fact that. Um, the, se the seven here correspond, the seven branches here that we have on the feeling, correspond to the seven uh, holes we have in the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Meaning that everything I see, everything I write, all this has to be directed to towards the right way. I have to only look at beautiful things, smell beautiful things, hear and speak be uh, kosher things and good things. I have to use it for this world, but in the, for a holy purpose. It's actually interesting that all those faculties that correspond to the head, not to the body. But there's seven in the head and seven to the and seven in the body. And the idea is to be able to download it in a or elevate it in a good purposeful way. So I have the same the seven the seven um, uh, abilities to to feel. Now there are also five senses, 
five senses. Those five senses are four in the head, hearing, seeing, smelling, and tasting. And then the fifth one is in the hand, the touching. So, what's in, so we're saying that before you do an action, before you're going to go touch, make sure that all the, the, the five ones that you're using are connected to, um, to the head. Um, it's like we have the four portions, we have the four, right, the four sections here correspond to the four um, abilities, senses, and then those are more like uh, spiritual, and then the physical, which correspond to more this world, the physical world, is um, then used for, to direct those five senses to do something, a good action. Um, and I would like to actually say, Correspond to the Misas Esharim, the path of the just, where it says, God wants five things from you. What are the five? To be in awe of Him, to serve Him, uh, sorry, to go in His ways, to love Him, and to uh, serve Him with your heart and whole soul. And, and then, after, at the end, it says, it actually was in this week's parasha, parasha's Ekev, um, we say, then you do the action, you um, do all the mitzvahs. So what is that saying? This is actually, I think, a, a hint of our feeling also, that there are four sections. First, you have to have Yira, and you need to have go in His ways, and have Ahava, and serve Him your whole heart and, and soul. One, do you have all this ready? Then you can do the mitzvah, the action. So that's represented uh, by the four sections that we have, and then finally the action. Um, I think that's the main thing. The idea that we have those two straps, one supposed to go at least till the belly, the other one till the sexual organ, is to connect to uh, life and to connect, right, which is the, the belly, which is the place of birth, the umbilical cord, and then the sexual organ, which is source of life. That everything we do, uh, everything we think about, everything we desire, has to go down and brought, go through the whole body so that we can control the whole body with the head. Um, so, this is, I think, a good start. Um, again, there's so many more things to speak about, but I think I gave enough to start uh, going uh, deeper, exploring, um, and, and, and get a taste of what you're, what you're doing. Uh, remember also that when you put on feeling, it's like you, you, your soul is shining. Um, you are like revealing the powers of your soul, the seven powers of your soul here. And um, you're trying to connect, you're dressing like a king. This is a real crown. We say in the morning, you crown the Jewish people with Tiferet, with harmony, with glory. And this is, um, we, we touch the head feeling when we do that. And the idea is that um, we are God's people and if we act properly, then our feeling represents that glory of acting properly. We are like kings, we are princes of God. Um, let's remember that when we pronounce feeling, we can speak between the head, the heart, and the head, and that's actually a very important uh, lesson. I don't want to forget that. As soon as I put the feeling, we cannot have do anything in between. I have to put the hand. I don't speak at all. Right away, I go to the head because the idea is the only way to be saved from Egypt is to quickly, um, to quickly control the desire that you have, the instinct you have, and why don't we go to head and start thinking? Because if you don't think, then you're going to do the action, and um, it might be a negative action, and you have destroyed the world and your soul. So that's, that's what we have to uh, do in order to remember that uh, I have to be constantly aware of uh, that I have to be out, out of Egypt every second of my life, I have to stay connected to God every second of my life. My heart should be all directed to heaven, my head should be constantly directed to heaven, 
And if our head and heart are connected, which is the hardest thing to do, my head wants something and my heart wants something, unless I have those two connected as one, right, it's not going to work. Sometimes we do something, we know it's not right, we still do it. Um, and sometimes we desire something, we know it's good, and but we don't let our head... Uh, our head is somewhere else and we don't end up doing that good thing. So it goes both ways. So I um, may we all be able to use the message of Tfilin um, and continue learning about it and uh, become beings that always think on what they are doing, uh, feel what they are doing, connected to their emotions, connected to their heart, and so that our entire being, body and soul, heart and brain, are completely constantly directed towards the right direction towards Hashem and in this way if we are all that like that every Jew will be able to stay out of Egypt and Moshiach uh, will be able to come and um, and yeah so may you all be uh, successful in achieving it